three tattoos. I used to be really shy, so my mom put me in pageants. I used to be so cheap. I wanted to be a pilot when I was in college, and I went into ROTC. Also in college, I had a long distance Beyonce. Hey guys, my name is Shayla and I make these videos every Wednesday. I've been traveling full time since 2015 and I usually go and live for a couple of months to kind of slow travel. But I make these videos every Wednesday to inspire you to travel or to do whatever it is that makes you happy. Please subscribe if you're into that and please like the video if you like the video. It always feels weird saying that. This Wednesday, I wanted to talk to you about life before living on a one-way because I've lived so many places and I've done so many things and I want to hear if you have done that. So if you have, let me know. First of all, I'm from Minnesota, Lakeville, if you know it. I lived there for 18 years of my life until I went to college. I have one sister, Amber, who you all know, and if you don't, I'll put a playlist somewhere. She is 16 months younger than me, so I'm her older sister, which usually shocks people. I don't know why it can't be her career, house, or child. I was in dance. I think I was in debate for a little bit. Wire, loved speech class. I was in AP classes. I was friends with the nerds. I was friends with the cool kids. I was friends with the goths. I was friends, I didn't care. I, I just like people. I didn't drink in high school until senior year of spring break. And then in college, I was the DD for everybody. Don't get me wrong, I had my moments where I drank. And honestly, when I did, I didn't know what I was doing. So I had no idea how to keep track of alcohol. My body does not like alcohol. I swear I get hangovers worse than everybody. And I don't know if I'm just a baby or if like really I do. I've learned that energy drink for me, the best way to go because then I can just have yerba mate and like get all the energy like everybody else, but I don't feel horrible the next day. I also love to dance. I have my Red Bull and I would dance my freaking face off. My hair would be up, it would be drenched in sweat. Like I wasn't the pretty girl who was like, I was dancing. My sister and I used to film ourselves like this when my parents would go out when we were old enough to like babysit ourselves and we would just videotape ourselves and make news segments and make Jenny Jones if you remember Jenny Jones. This is something that I've been doing since I was little and it kind of took a while for me to remember that but Maybe I can find some of those clips and share them. That would be amazing. I wanted to do it all at one point and now I'm doing this and I think it's so much fun but also so challenging. It's pretty difficult but I enjoy it. I was a first generation college student. I was like making appointments with my dean. I was the nerd for sure. I was like, uh, can we set up an appointment? He was like, what? I need help with college. After high school in Minnesota, I went to college at the University of San Diego, and to save money, I graduated in three years, which meant 18 to 21 semesters, 18 to 21 units every semester. I worked on campus at the gym, and I did internships, which I freaking loved. I was a peer advisor for all the freshmen. They failed the first semester. They had to come the second semester. First question I asked, look, I know you have to be here. What do you want to get from this? And honestly, that's something that I love doing. Life development and helping people come up with how, what, how they can make their dreams a reality. And I'm actually gonna work on this a little bit. I'm gonna do strategy calls. If you're into something like that, send me a message and we can talk about it later. That's not what this is about. I wanted to be a pilot when I was in college and I went into ROTC for a half a semester and then I was like, there's gotta be better ways to travel. Also in college, I had a long distance Fiance. I was engaged at 19 and he was in the Marine Corps in North Carolina and I was in San Diego. So when I graduated college, I moved to North Carolina. Before he got out of the Marine Corps, I went to Spain to be an au pair or an international nanny. And then we moved to Hawaii where I worked as a bartender for like eight months and then we broke up and I moved home. About the time that I moved home, my parents got a divorce. So if you know what it's like to be an adult with parents getting divorced, I feel ya. I went back to the restaurant that I was working at and I traveled two weeks to Peru, two weeks to Thailand. There's a plane flying over, we're just gonna let it happen. And then I took three months traveling and then that's how this whole thing started. And that's where the videos start. So I'm gonna do a couple quick fire questions that I got. What do my parents do? My parents are both entrepreneurs, which is why I think I'm such an entrepreneur. My dad owned a, owns a construction company and he has since I was born and now flips houses. My mom worked her family jewelry company, cosmetologist, got really into horses, so we did horse shows for a while, and now she owns a bar in Northfield, Minnesota called Froggy Bottoms, so go say hey. How many tattoos do I have? I have three tattoos. There's one right here. Hey boo, what's going on? Not much, we're just on lunch. Seth was on his break, so I had to talk to him. Well, that's one of the questions. How did Seth and I meet on Bumble when I was home at one point? I have three tattoos. Tattoo number one, that little dot, 
means don't sweat the small stuff. When you're super involved in your own problem, if you kind of take a step back at a bird's eye view, you realize how little of a problem it is. I have this wave, can you see this wave? I have this wave, which means ebb and flow. Sometimes things are in abundance and really good, sometimes things are not, but it all kind of evens out. And then I have this one on the side, and that is a matching tattoo with my sister. It means 808, and it's what we used to yell at the end of the driveway because that's the time the bus came. Heavily meaning tattoos, so that's kind of my jam. I can't have dairy, my belly kind of hurts, but it's more just like I feel lethargic and tired and nasty. Have I been skydiving? I did it twice. Once with my college roommates, the second time for my sister's 19th birthday, and my parachute got a little bit twisted, and he had to untwist us and kick us out. He said he almost had to pull it, so I'm not gonna do it a third time. Bungee jumping once, I have a video about that. That, after that I was like, okay. <laughs> I've done all the things I need to do for adrenaline, I'm good. When I was little, I used to be really shy. So my mom put me in pageants and I was Little Miss of America in Minnesota in 1996. I have the cutest nephew in the whole freaking world. His name is Bennett, baby B, and I am his TT. So whenever he sees me on FaceTime, he's like, hi TT, and it melts my heart. I said before, I haven't, I didn't shave until I was 21 because I did laser hair removal, which I highly recommend. I got it on Groupon. And I've also done Botox and I actually have a video about that if you're interested in it. I've done it twice. And I might do it again. I'm a certified yoga teacher. I did yoga in college and I was so hooked. I was going five to six times a week and then I became a teacher and then I led yoga retreats. It used to be so cheap and I'm still like moderately cheap, but it was extreme. I would want to go out to dinner with friends, but I would just get a side salad because I didn't want to spend money on the food. Well, I think that's why I've been able to travel so much. That's kind of made me a minimalist because I don't want to have a bunch of things. I want to have a few really nice things. What did people think when I first started doing this? I specifically remember everyone that I was friends with on Facebook got an invite to my page at the time. And I remember a friend of mine being like, oh yeah, so-and-so thinks it's really kind of goofy what you're doing. And I was like, I don't care. Like, I just never cared. I was just like, well, they don't think it's cool, but I've got a bunch of other people who are into it and that enjoy it. And yeah, people thought it was crazy what I was doing and they would wonder how I was making money and if my parents were paying for stuff. And I was just like, but I really love natural foods, natural deodorant, natural cleaning stuff. I like doing things the natural way because I think it's good to do these things to help your body just run better. First place I ever traveled to Mexico, that was like your spring break destination. So we would go to Mexico and I remember meeting this Canadian girl who was the pool activities director and I was like, what? You're from Canada and you're an activities director in Mexico. This is the coolest job ever. I think that put a little seed in my head. Some of the places that I've lived in Hawaii for eight months and I worked at Senior Frogs and Yard House. North Carolina and I worked on the military base, Camp Lejeune. Spain for three months and I nannied. Nicaragua for two months. We lived in New Zealand for two months in the van. Puerto Rico for eight months. That was like really what started all of this. I guess I lived in Greece for three months as well, working with the Syrian refugees. Obviously I lived in San Diego while I was going to college. And now I'm living here in Washington for four months and I think it's the coolest. That's a little bit about me. I was a total nerd in high school, but I also like was friends with the cool kids. I was just, I was just really confident in what I did. I wanna make another video to help you guys figure out how to do these things like the international nanny or volunteering abroad. I wanna know, have you, do you guys live in those places? Have any of you ever been in au pair? I just want to know more about you and to kinda of connect with you on a different thing to show like, yeah, I just grew up and I just decided to do this and did it sort of blindly and just went for it and it's happened to work out. Please subscribe if you're not already and please like this video if you enjoyed it. I will see you guys all next Wednesday. Mwah. The bonus footage this week, if you remember Amber's pants dance, someone sent me their kids doing the pants dance and I freaking love it. So I wanted to show you because I think it's so funny. See you guys all next Wednesday. Mwah. Oh, look at you, girl. This is one of those rompers that you're like, is that a dress or pants? Let's see, let's see what it is. It's but you can't tell, but you can't tell, it's pants. <laughs> but you can't tell, but you can't tell, it's pants. It's pain. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's pain. It's not dreams. It's pain.